Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be sporting in on Azeroth's resting place. Now I do want to let you guys know that I am in a Duro Q Swift as well. This is going to be a pretty fun map for us as Survivor depending if we prevent a 3 gen strat from happening earlier. Looks like we're going to be versing a Michael Myers and his first response is obviously to go through the board and apply pressure to the opposite side. Now he's already found somebody which is really bad. Hopefully he didn't get a lot of stalk out of them. Now I'm instantly going to be chasing Myers, which could be both a beauty and a curse. Working on the generator in the middle of the map would be one of the superior ones to get completed. However, while Myers is in tier 1 until he's in chase with somebody, I'm going to come right through realistically i'd love to be on the generator that he checks so i'm pretty sure he's over here he's checked on that generator somebody's gone left the god bus is closed which is bad somebody missed a skill check on that generator i'm gonna see if he's got ruin looks like he does not have ruin running behind me by a lady there we go let's apply pressure towards this generator now we know we got two generators right together david's running in a very bad direction I'm going to run early too. I'm going to use line of sight in this strong jungle gym. If he doesn't get out of tier 1, I can run this against Myers for a very long time. If he does get out of tier 1, puts us in a bit of an awkward spot. Remember, he is only 105% movement speed. She's going to get seen then. And it looks like he is out of tier 1. He should have got more stalk out of that, but that is okay. Her play is to run towards the shack, not wait at this pallet here. If she waits at this pallet, it can be really devastating for us. Getting a generator done on this side of the map is going to be catastrophic. Now, I know he hasn't seen me and stalked me at all, but I know that means I have a lot left in the tank for him. That's going to be very bad. Getting this generator done and the one in the middle would be very good for us. And one across the board to prevent any form of 3 gen strat and put the killer in a really awkward situation for the late game based on the fact he cannot get across the board very easily being 115% moving to be a killer with a 24 meter tear radius while he is in stage 3. 2. In stage 3 he'll have a 32 meter tear radius and he'll have an instant down as well. Also countered by both Tinkerer and Monitor and Abuse. So we have to be very careful and Dark Devotion of course as well. We have to be very careful he doesn't come around the corner and use Tinker and down me straight away right now with the tier 3. Everybody is on full health. This is good. I have to make a decision. Do I want to work on this generator on my left or do I want to go through the middle of the map and work on the center generator? I kind of want to work on the generator in the middle of the board if I'm going to be honest. But at the same time, I know somebody's been hit. I know they're the gen on the opposite side. I think if we get one done on either side and one more done, will be it. There you go. Now I'm going to go to the middle of the map. I'm going to work on that generator and he will not have a 3 gen strat available. That's going to be catastrophically painful for Myers, but yet again, one of the severest opportunities of this Michael Myers should have corrupt intervention or ruin. He doesn't have either. With corrupt, he would have funneled us to one side of the board and been able to get out of tier 1 without losing mass pressure on generators. Unfortunately, he didn't have corrupt. He had to get out of tier 1. Therefore, he chased for a little bit longer than he needed to, putting him in a little bit of a bad spot. Now he's lost three generators. He's tier two. He's got one hit. I don't know how many pallets, and I don't even know if he's prepped for his tier three. If he is prepped for his tier three, he's going to have one opportunity to tier three this game in Snowball, and then that's going to be it. I would really hope that she'd be on the generator over there, but regardless, it means this killer doesn't have a three gen if we get this done in the middle. And we have proved ourselves stacking up as well, which is going to be really good for our success. Now, we don't know where Myers is. I kind of want to point at that generator down there and have these guys go down there for that generator. And I'm going to run in for the save. It looks like the king had the same plan. We got Thrilling Tremor by the killer as well. Bill has been downed by the killer. He's going to see me. I am pretty... Uh, I'm wearing some pretty bright colors here. Ooh. And we do have Kindred. I'm going to walk around this. I'm going in for a save nice and early. You'll probably get tier 3 out of this, but that's okay. I got BT for Bill, and I do have a loop available here if I need to. The fact that he hasn't tier 3 makes me think he's a permanent tier 3 or he's holding on to it. If Bill takes a hit, I can leave this jungle gym. There's our Bill. There's our BT. And now we're going to leave. Now we did point down here earlier for our teammates to come to this. I'm leaving all these really good jungle gyms for Bill. Unfortunately, he took a hit in the back there. Might be DS. Let's see how the killer responds to what's happening right now. He saw me. Both a beauty and a curse. I'm pretty sure he's close to tier 3. There's my adrenaline. I'm going to turn around. Pallet stun him. Block line of sight. Play towards the bus. Sidestep back in, depending on how he responds. Use line of sight on the corner. Play back to the vault. She's in a bad spot. Oh no, this is very bad if she stands back. Oh my god. This is very bad. She's not in the right spot. <laughs> gonna take a hit on BT. Not BT. He's gonna take a hit on Bill, who had Soul Guard and Unbreakable. Or he got picked up. Really well played. I didn't see where either door was, but like I said, this Maya is gonna have one opportunity to tier 3 this game. Looks like both doors are on one side of the map. Looks like Mr. King was able to open a door. Now, the smartest thing I could possibly do right now is outweigh him. Outweigh his tier 3 and then make a play towards my teammate with BT if he does go down. 
Now, because a teammate panicked and opened a door, that starts an endgame collapse timer at the top of the screen, which can be the difference between winning and losing this game. Bill took a hit in the back. Pallet's been destroyed. No brutal strength on Myers. He's going to have to go for that pickup now. Now, my play is to save just as tier 3 expires. I do have Kindred, which is going to be nice for me. I'm going to be a little bit of distance away. Remember, he does have it for the... He doesn't have it for 60 seconds yet. I'm going to use that. Remember, there's no door down here. Tier 3 expired. Let's see how he responds now. He hasn't really given us much room. I want BT on this guy. Let's do that right now. BT right under his nose. That's good. He can't do anything about it. I sidestepped in to walk inside Myers. Oh, he might actually have saved the best for last. He's in front. I'm going to turn to the pallet. I'm going to use the pallet. I'm going to wait for my dead heart, and I'm going to make a play. Waiting for that. Now just play towards the other door, all the way down here. My dead heart is back. Myers is too busy thinking I'm going to play that loop. I have no intention of doing that. I'm going to run all the way over here. Unfortunately, no one was able to take a body block hit for me, but it didn't matter. I got my dead heart back, and I'm across the board, and I'm at the other door, and I'm going to be able to make it out. He was so focused on me going through that one door that when I blocked his line of sight and he couldn't see me, he cycled back towards the door, giving me adequate time to go to the other door as well. Now, how did I know no, both doors were open? I had information provided through Kindred being a very fantastic perk as well. Anyways, that's going to be a duo Q rank 1 survivor game. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do educational, formative, DVD killer, and survivor content five days a week. If you guys want to tune into, the, tune into the live stream, feel free to do that as well. I do stream DVD on Twitch. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the fog in the next video. Have a good